in human beings certain characteristics or traits are found to be dominant and certain characteristics are found to be recessive say for, for example you take hair color is dominant over gray hair hair form curly hair dominant over straight hair likewise ear lobe this is free ear lobe if it is attached here then it is attached ear lobe so free ear was found to be dominant than attached ear lobe then tasting ability so tasting ability towards a bitter tasting substance known as ptc phenyl thiocarbamide not everyone can taste this bitter substance for some who cannot taste it will be bland so who can taste this bitter substance are known as tasters and who cannot taste this bitter substance are known as non tasters likewise tongue rolling ability so joining the lateral side of the tongue uh, lateral side of the tongue uh, is what is tongue rolling ability not everyone can roll it those who can roll are known as rollers those who cannot roll are known as non rollers fingers short fingers are found to be dominant over normal fingers you have seen no? now how do we do mono hybrid cross say for example you take tasters capital t capital t cross with non tasters small t small t what you get f1 generation you get tasters who are capital t if we cross two tasters you get capital t small t then in f2 generation you get capital t capital t two capital t small t and one small t small t so you get three tasters then one non test so this is mono hybrid cross in human beings and we cannot do like this this is wrong because in human beings there are no pure breeding lines and f1 generation cross is prohibited and we also do not know the genotype of the parents and that is why we cannot do the same thing what we have done in mono hybrid cross selecting the right optional subject for the upsc exam can be a daunting task especially if you're aiming to succeed on your first attempt But what if there's a crucial element that could make all the difference? That element is continuous answer writing practice at Vijeta IAS Academy. Our anthropology optional foundation program offers a comprehensive approach. Not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter, but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises. Each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by NP Kishore sir, ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills. This approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks such as Akanksha Singh 311 marks in Anthro CSE 2022 Chaudhary Shipra Vijay Kumar 307 marks in Anthro CSE 2022 Ajink Kumar who cracked UPSC in his first attempt and many more With daily feedback and structured practice you will be well prepared to succeed in the UPSC examination With our focused feedback and structured practice You'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the CSE. Don't wait any longer. Enroll in Vijeta IS Academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the UPSC exam.